Philadelphia's first homeless shelter focused on the transgender community is set to open in a matter of days. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe got a tour of the space and reports on why there's a need. And we want to make sure that we are meeting the needs of the community. And they plan on meeting the community where they are. Tatiana Woodard is the executive director of the newly formed Arc of Safety LGBTQ Plus Safe Haven. Based in North Philly, they will focus on emergency shelter and wellness services for trans women of color. She knows the need because she experienced homelessness herself. I was couch surfing. Um, I was doing survival sex work um, to keep uh, a hotel. Um, roof over my head. According to a report by the UCLA Williams Institute, 17% of people who identify as LGBT have experienced homelessness in their lives, but the issue is more dire for people who are trans. And we see a alarming rate of violence towards, alarming rate of just being marginalized, sexual assault. Spaces like this are much needed. It, it is a godsend that we have these spaces for those folks. For security concerns, Eyewitness News is withholding the exact location of ARC. They'll have 12 beds, health screenings, food, and offer a six month program covering financial literacy, job readiness, and rehousing. The experience of housing insecurity is a trauma that lives with folks for a very long time. Now, they don't officially open their doors until next week. However, showing the critical need for a place like this, they're already receiving referrals. There's a lot of work to do, and, and this is why we're, we're here. We have to realize that our trans community are not going anywhere, and a lot of them are in hiding. So this is why we have the Arca Safety Safe Haven, get them back into the full force of life. Howard Monroe, CBS3 Eyewitness News.